Welcome back to John's Music. In today's video, we are going to be checking out some beginner symbols that we suggest for upcoming drummers who are very much interested to get their own kit and symbols. We have recommendations between brass and bronze symbols today. So without any further delay, let's get right at it. So when a beginner is interested to learn some drums and investing in a drum kit, they are often confused about which cymbals to get. So in today's video, we are doing the comparison between brass cymbals and bronze cymbals. Brass cymbals come under more of the entry level category. So if you're, the budget is very tight, the brass cymbal is re recommended. The example what we have here is Peste 101. And then the bronze cymbal is the next category where the cymbals sound more tonally nice. That is the Peste 201 which we have for demo. We have the 101 uh, hi-hat and the 101 crash loaded over here. So tonally there will be a difference. It's not exactly uh, that the both cymbals will not be differing. There will be much difference. The bronze cymbals will sound more sweeter, have, will have a better attack, more sustain and the brass cymbal will have lesser of that. So hope this video helps you in deciding whether brass cymbals is fine for you or whether you should invest in a bronze cymbal. So we are going to check out the hi-hat sound first. Uh, this is Peste 101 14-inch hi-hat. We are going to check out the stick sound on closed and open as well. So that was the hi-hat sound and now it's time to hear the crash sound. We'll have a stick sound first and then have a crash. So that was the Peste 101 sound, uh, that is the brass cymbals. Now we are going to the bronze cymbals and checking out how they sound. So now we have loaded the Peste 201 cymbals. You can notice the color difference immediately. This is more towards the golden side and this is more towards the yellow side. That's because it's brass. Uh, bronze cymbals 201, here is the sound check. We are listening to the hi-hat now. So that was the 201 uh, bronze hi-hat, now we are going to the Peste 201 bronze crash.
So you can notice a clear difference between the brass symbols and the bronze symbols. The bronze symbols are more uh, melodious, I can say, and uh, the sustain is much, much better. However, the price range for a brass symbol and a bronze symbols will be very, very apart. So we made this video particularly to help beginners in deciding whether they can be okay with a brass sound so they can invest in uh, models like Peste 101. Sabian has a model called SBR. Uh, so Peste and Sabians make really good symbols. If their budget can go a little higher, then the model in Peste can be Peste 201. And if you want to take the Sabian, we have the B8X available. Even those are great symbols. The only difference is B8X has a little more uh, variation. Like for example, you can get an 18 inch thin crash or a median crash, which Peste does not have. Uh, Hi-hat and crash are the symbols that is most important when a beginner starts. Because ideally when you buy a drum set, you do not get uh, one extra stand uh, on the right side. You just get a single uh, crash stand. And that is why hi-hat and crash is something that we did for this video. Later on, you can definitely add more uh, stands for uh, ride, for splashes, for china and a lot more. But however, this is the configuration that usually a beginner drum kit has. And that is why hi-hat and crash becomes the most essential to buy. Anything below the brass models, I really would not recommend because uh, they will sound very uh, annoying to the ear and if you start playing loud, it can get very bad for your ears as well. Uh, we are going to also right now show the 101 and 201 crash right next to each other so you can get an idea of the sound difference. There's a clear difference of sustain and even tone so you can get an idea of which is exactly suitable for you. We are going to have a small playthrough so that you can get a better idea. The hi-hats we are using is the Peste 201 Bronze. There is also a little difference between the swells that you want to do. And here. So you're going to end up with a way better swell when it comes to the bronze symbols. So that was the demo of the beginner hi-hat and crashes, whether you should go for brass ones or whether you should go for bronze ones. Whichever you liked in tone, you can choose that. Suppose you do not have the budget to go for a bronze symbols and the brass ones sound decent enough, you can go for that as well. The sticks used in this video is the Promark Firegrain 5A. This is a really good stick that even every drummer should consider once at least. The reason is that the stick goes through a roasting procedure that's why literally burnt in fire so that makes the molecules of the stick come closer and gives it more durability. Also a very well weighted stick. And I haven't seen very durable sticks other than this. These are very, very durable even for your hard hit. So if you're a rock drummer, if you're a metal drummer, you can really choose these sticks to have a very good sound uh, across and even have a good durability. So that's about wrapping up in today's video where we compared brass cymbals and bronze cymbals. Hope this video helped you in deciding which symbols are great for you. This video is very good for drummers to uh, understand the difference. This video is also great for guitarists if they want to recommend their friends, uh, drummer friends uh, for any kind of investment of symbols. So thank you again for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more product reviews and educational content. See you next week with some more videos. Until then, bye bye.